What's happening everybody? J.R. Raymond here with BowlerX.com and I'm coming to you from BowlerX Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes. Where today we're going to talk a little bit about the Envision, the new bowling ball from Ebonite. Talk about what it's all about, give you a little bit of details, what I think it's going to do, um, and all that good jazz. So uh, we're going to talk about it and uh, maybe possibly lay it out as well here in a minute. Stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, welcome back. So we've got the Envision here uh, box here in front of us. Uh, the one thing I wanted to check out is I wanted to see if this cover stock was used uh, on any other bowling balls, and it actually was. This is supposed to be the same cover stock that was used on the original Aero, that A-E-R-O, the Aero. It was blue, red, and uh, kind of similar type looking cover, um, but it had a lot more blue in it. That was a very smooth bowling ball for me. Um, it came into play on the mid-range type patterns for me when I was able to get into you know, the 37 to about 40 feet range. That was when that ball was actually pretty good for me. It smoothed the pattern out really nice for me. Um, but they did a little bit different with this one as far as the uh, the core goes. It's not much different, but it's got a little bit more differential. This is 250, so that, diff that RG, um, it's not low, but it's not in the upper RG range yet. It's not to that 252 range. So it's still, it's, I, th I would call it more like the mid-range RG. So they're looking like they're wanting to get this ball down lane a little bit further than a typical solid cover would. Um, so they raised the, the RG just a little bit. The differential is 053 on this, whereas the arrow was 250, same, same RG, um, and 050, so a little bit less diff on the um, on the arrow. But the big difference is the mass bias on these bowling balls. So the mass bias on this was 010, so the inter basically the intermediate differential. And then on the arrow, it was a little bit bigger. It was 015. So this isn't as big of an asymmetric core as what you saw to the arrow, which may be what gives this a little bit more pop down lane. So um, and they finished this one. Cover stock wise, they finished it. They went from 500 up to 2000 grit Cy Air pad. Um, so you can see it's got a sheen to it. It's not super dull. It's nothing crazy. It should be fairly clean. And I would imagine it's gonna give you a little bit of pop down lane. The question is, is, is it going to continue down through the pins? That's where a lot of the solid asymmetric bowling balls have trouble is they like to really get up and pick up and start going. And then when they go, they make such a sharp motion quick that it looks like they just then go straight um, and they don't continue and round off the back of the pattern. We've got to try to prevent that. And that's again why I use the layouts that I use is to try to pr pr keep the bowling balls from doing that. But sometimes there's just nothing you can do. If the cover stock is stronger than the core or vice versa, you're going to get that uh, every now and then. So based on what I'm seeing here, what I saw out of the arrow with this cover stock, uh, I, I imagine it's going to be pretty similar, but you might see a little bit more pop. Maybe they were trying to get this to be a little bit more continuous by going with a little bit less intermediate differential. Um, and a little bit strong over a little bit stronger overall differential so it's going to flare a little bit more so it should continue better than what the arrow did i thought the arrow continued okay um, but i think this might do just a little bit better and i really like the looks of these bowling balls the dark colors always do it for me i love the darker colors um, although um, one thing i might compare it to is the gem because the gem is my favorite ball right now so we might take this out on the lanes and compare it with that as well um, and see what it, how they match up together. But I am probably gonna put the typical 45 by four and a half by 45 layout on it like I always do, just so you guys can really see the difference and that's what we have on the gem as well. So you can really see the difference between the bowling balls. That'll be a really good test. You know, Ebonite and uh, the brands of Brunswick, uh, they've got a lot of really good solid bowling balls. They've always been really good with their solid bowling balls. Um, 
I think uh, I think Rotogrip and the Storm companies are trying to really compete because, in my opinion, I don't think Storm's solid covers have been as good as the Ebonite or the Brands of Brunswick solid covers have been, um, and vice versa. The Storm, their pearl and shinier covers are better, in my opinion, than what I see out of the Brands of Brunswick ones. And then again, it's all you know, it's all based on what you think. You know, for me, that's just how it works. For me, uh, the Storm. Roto Grip and 900 Global covers just seem to be a little bit better for when I need to go left. Um, because for me, the shinier balls from Brands of Brunswick seem to, uh, they give me that hook stop a little bit too much. They don't continue off of the back of the pattern with the shiny stuff for me. Uh, again, so I don't want you to think I'm bad mouthing anything. It, it, some people have a lot of success with you know, the pearl cover stocks from Brands of Brunswick, they have no problem going left and getting the ball to continue. Um, maybe their their ball release is just a little bit different. My release, my roll matches up a little bit better with some of the other brand uh, type stuff when it comes to moving further left. So that's just me. I, I You know, some of the bowling balls that I really enjoyed from the Brands of Brunswick, like that Proof Pearl, that's one I've actually, I've got one on the shelf here I keep saving. I, I keep pushing people, everybody that keeps trying to buy it, I keep pushing them away from it because I wanna, I wanna drill it for myself again because the Proof Pearl was one of the pearls that that they came out with that really did the right thing. It really continued off the back part of the lane. And the other ones were the older Black Widows. So like the Black Widow Legend, that was the perfect bowling ball for me. I don't know why most of the Black Widows I don't like um, because the, the core is just so strong. They like to stand up and stop on me. But that one, the Legend, whatever cover was on that Legend, for some reason, it allowed me to do the things that I really like to do. And, and uh, I went on a streak of like five events in a row where um, I made all the match plays at the national events and I was always within 30 or 40 pins of making a TV show uh, and made a few shows that year that that ball came out. So that was really, um, that was really the, the, the few bowling balls that have looked really good for me as far as the pearls go on that end. So I'm excited to see what this thing's going to do. I think it's going to be really good for the mid to uh the mid range to longer range patterns the higher volume patterns so anything from let's say 37 to probably 43 feet i think this ball will be pretty good as uh, close to like a benchmark or so um, because right now i don't have a great solid benchmark i just have you know the gem and the nova but those are both big strong balls for more volume uh, or for short patterns when i need to really control the pattern you know so i really don't have that benchmark smooth bowling ball so i'm hoping this can actually fill that void or fill that space i'm curious like with the 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 damn good verge pearl i don't really know what to expect out of it again like i said in that other video uh, i'm really curious what i see out of that pearl hopefully it's a pearl that continues and maybe then i don't have to drill a proof pearl because i have a damn good verge pearl i don't know we're gonna find out we're let's let's lay them out let's drill them let's do all the good things we need to do um but make sure to subscribe comment uh like and do all that good stuff on this um, because we need to get this channel built as much as possible so we can get all the information out as much as possible. All the unbiased opinions about all the bowling balls in the world um, because there's a lot of staffers out there that do push their brand and as they're supposed to. So there's nothing against anybody that's on staff, but we are the one channel that is not on staff with any company so we can be honest and give you unbiased opinions about what we think which is why i can say there's certain things i do and don't like about certain companies that's what's really good about our reviews over here so make sure to subscribe share these videos so that way people can learn and understand what these bowling balls might do for you um, and until next time hey make sure to hit that link in the description if you want to order one of these we're going to be having them coming out here pretty soon so make sure to order yours at bowlerx.com link in the description but otherwise i'm getting out of here we'll see you guys later